Hello and welcome back to another Manchester's video. Myself, Liam, today is going to be Grounded Story Time. I did a video similar to this, but it was more horror related back in October and you guys seem to love it. So I decided to do it again with a little bit of a twist. Instead of finding horror stories, I decided to do three randomly generated AI stories with the tag being grounded. So we have two original short stories and then a poem which I'm going to recreate and narrate in Grounded. So I hope you enjoy. If you do, like and subscribe and let's get into the very first one. The old abandoned hut on the outskirts of the garden had always been a source of curiosity for the local children, but when a group of friends decided to explore it on a dare one dark and stormy night, they quickly realised they should have left well enough alone. As they cautiously made their way through the creaky and decaying halls, they suddenly heard strange noises echoing throughout the house. The hair on the back of their necks stood up as they cautiously followed the sounds, only to find themselves face to face with a strange figure. With a blood-curdling scream, the creature lunged at them, causing the friends to scatter and run for their lives. As they stumbled out the door and onto the rocks, they all swore they could still hear the noises echoing in the night. From that day on, no one ever dared to venture into the old abandoned hut again. The legend of the strange figure still haunts the town to this day, reminding all who hear the story never to mess with the dead. Dum dum dum! Ooh, spooky! Once upon a time, there was an aphid named Amy who lived on a leafy branch of a large oak tree. Amy loved to feed on the sap from the tree's leaves and was content with her simple life. One day, Amy met a mite named Max, who had taken up residence on the same branch. Max was small and curious, and the two quickly became friends. Max loved to explore and soon discovered that there were other pests on the tree who were causing harm to the oak. Max tried to warn Amy, but she was too focused on her own happiness to listen. As the time passed, the pests continued to multiply and wreak havoc on the tree. Amy's once lush and green home was now brown and sickly. She realised that Max had been right all along and was filled with regret for not listening. Determined to make things right, Amy joined forces with Max and together they set out to protect their home. They worked tirelessly, driving away the pests and tending to the tree. Slowly, the oak began to heal and bloom once more. From that day on, Amy and Max continued to protect their home and live in harmony with all the creatures that lived on the tree. They were proud of what they had accomplished together and cherished their friendship. Oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that, isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? That's so, that's so lovely, that story was. And, and now we have a poem. This is a poem. This is a weird one. I, you know, so it's, 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 a, it's a mixture. It's a mixture. You know, I'll try and change up the voice a bit so it doesn't just sound like my boring voice reading out all the time. <laughs> Where, what? <laughs> I can't even do <laughs> Sorry, take two, take two. There once was a spider named Sue, whose web was a work of art, it's true. She spun it with care, and placed it with flair, and hummed happy tune all day through. The sun shone on Sue's web so bright, and she basked in its warm golden light. She watched as the world unfolded, twirled, and felt so very lucky, what a sight. One day, a fish got caught in her net, but Sue wasn't scared, not yet. She approached with a smile and set the fish free in a while and felt joy in her heart, you bet. So here's to Sue, the happy spider, whose web is a work of art, a true winner. She'll bring joy to all and stands tall, a spider who's always a little kinder. Uh <laughs> take that as you will take that last one as you will uh i hope you enjoyed this very very short video it's so stupid i'm so sorry this is so ridiculous i just thought it'd be quite funny i didn't realize it's going to be this short and this and this pointless but if you enjoyed it i'm happy if you guys enjoyed it that's great if you want to hear more like this if you want it to be more focused around the horror aspect as i do like horror horror stories uh if you want it to be more focused around that or whatever if you don't want any more say but i hope you enjoyed anyway make sure to like and subscribe like i said and goodbye <laughs>